What's it like in the eyes of your delivery driver? You hit a button, and no matter the weather, these guys will get your food to you. But who's behind that hand at the door? Some of the hardest working New Yorkers. This is a day in the life of a New York City delivery driver. We're uptown in the Bronx, and today we've got our bikes because that's the official vehicle of delivery drivers around town. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Hey. Alex. This is Mooney. He's a delivery driver for Seamless, and today we're going to join him on his delivery route to see what his life is like. Mooney starts his day at his apartment in the Bronx with a lot of water. You drink that whole thing every day? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and a big meal. And here we have fish. I burned the rice. You burnt it? <laughs> yeah. No, it looks good. He surprised All us right. by offering us some. Wow, this is huge. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have to have a hearty meal before we go out. Again, we'll be biking maybe maybe like 25 miles, something like that. We're gonna be basically biking a marathon, so. We're gonna struggle. But for Mooney, this is easy. He's an athlete. Growing up in a small village in Burkina Faso, his first love was soccer. That's how he met Hassan, his best friend from home and now roommate. I went to Miss, you know, it's, you know, it was to be a soccer player, big soccer player. Who's better? <laughs> <laughs> Mooney was signed to a professional team in Burkina Faso, but two years ago, came to the States to study and follow his dreams of playing soccer at even higher levels. When he arrived here, Hassan was the only person he knew. When I, was, when I came, I said, oh no, Hassan, I'm dreaming of this is true. I was so happy about it. But soon after arriving, Mooney faced an unexpected tragedy. At, the, at that time, it was, so it was to my, my mom still, still help me little by little, mm -hmm. pay my school and little bit. When I came after three months, my mom passed away. At this point, Mooney had a choice. He could return home or stay in the States. He chose to stay, knowing that's what his mother would want. But to stay and pursue his dreams of playing soccer, he needed to work. And food delivery was a perfect fit. When I was living in the village, I used to bike a lot. I bike everywhere, everywhere. You know? <laughs> but in Bukhara, it's not like this. It's hard to bike. But here, I feel like it's easy. Let's go, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mooney has already faced a lot in his life. But his dreams of playing soccer and his faith keep him going. So each day before heading out, he takes a moment to pray. Then it's time to get ready. You bringing that? Yeah. To head downtown and start delivering. To get started, Mooney turns on the Seamless app. All right, so we're not even off the train yet. We're just getting outside, and Mooney's already got his first order in. We've got to go pick up some hamburgers. Listening to music from home keeps him moving fast. African music guys, you know, they always they have like some advice of saying, so whenever hard it is, do never give up. And all the time, if I'm listening to this, to make me happy, like I can bike a lot. This song is getting us there fast. Yeah. <laughs> Some delivery guys work directly for restaurants. That's how it's always been. Are they food? Living enough. Here we go. But lately, more and more drivers partner with food delivery services like Seamless, which coordinates deliveries across many restaurants. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good, thanks. Yeah. Have a good night. He gets paid per order, plus tips. I've sent it. His delivery area covers 23rd Street all the way down to the bottom of Manhattan, which is huge. So you're always moving. Yeah, moving all the time. <laughs> Mooney will usually pick up and deliver three or four orders an hour, sometimes 25 orders a day. All right, let's go. In Mooney's mind, all this biking and even these walk-ups only make him stronger as an athlete. Even going fifth floor, this kind of thing will make me more strong. Do it. It's officially dark, it's officially cold, but that also means it's officially dinner time. So now the orders are coming in before we've even dropped off this last one. I'm going back to Canal Street again. Canal Street again? Yeah. Damn it. Canal, Canal Street, Street is my nightmare. Uh -huh. Stop stop ordering stuff from Canal Street, people. <laughs> if I'm doing deliveries, the only thing I have in my mind is like to focus on it and uh, be happy. Like, so anything you're doing, be happy about it. It's still like some people are saying that it's not easy, but you know, in our language, we used to say it, there's no bad job. No matter how long his day, Mooney has been recognized by seamless customers for always delivering food with a smile. In this life, there's nothing without respect. Respect people. That's all I'm doing. Smile with them and respect them as you can. Yeah, that's what I'm doing.
After a long day at work, it's time to do the thing he loves most. Okay, ready for soccer? Yeah. Mooney plays soccer with his team almost every night of the week. Is this yeah. your favorite part of the day? Yeah. <laughs> Are you not too cold to play? No. I'm fine. This is what you live for, huh? Yeah. Playing professionally remains his dream. I'm happy with doing deliveries because it's a job that you know I can um, do whenever I want. Like you know, my passion is to play soccer, to be a soccer player. And me doing deliveries, I can do at the both at the same time. Go to practice and still do my deliveries. Yeah, so you know, I do love it, and uh, I'm gonna try it until I'm gonna you know realize my dreams. I am Muni. This is the day in my life. Rally on! Rally on.